honey, where you go, a man she anything but calm. A regular pint size, I had a bomb. All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout 4 video. And last time we left off, we went and completed the uh, safari where we met Sito, friend. And then we came here to dry a uh, rock and gulch. And then we were a gunslinging cowboy. And now, uh, I believe Gage last time was talking about going to the Commonwealth to uh, pick fights with like settlements and try and take them over and such. Dang, it took him 10 years to open Safari Adventure after Dry Rock Gulch. Word is, so, Super Mutants just or Shank, the huh? They're still trying to rebuild. Should be easy pickings. If there's anything left, how good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. I don't bring you bullshit. And I'd like to keep it that way. Here, earn this. Anything else you find out? Shank. You'll be the first to know. Well, look who it is. It's like me. What you've done with the place, boss. Gang certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name Shank. And if you and Nuka Mr. World's Shank? favorite Cyclops are standing here, well, I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it taken to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. Right. Hmm. Think I'm convinced? Haven't decided yet. Sounds like a good idea. His suggestion, my decision. <sighs> Let's get one thing straight here. It may have been his suggestion. But it'll be my decision. I can see that. Well, regardless of the source, idea is a good one. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well... All you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. All right, what's your role in this? I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang you with? Which yeah. gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. Hmm. So, what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there. So I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit, and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. Yeah, we'll what is one. it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. And the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. All right. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? Sure, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is gonna require three things. I think this is the territory, last main quest. And loyalty. First things first, territory. 
We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from. An outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. Well, my charisma sucks. Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang should I have join you once you've staked your claim? I haven't given the uh, disciples anything so they can come. The disciples? Yeah? <laughs> Better bring a tarp. I'm sure the ladies will be happy to get some blood on their hands. For a good cause, of course. Hell, for any cause. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, You'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, The Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last mm -hmm, I checked. Mm -hmm. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So... You ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. So, where you want to do this? That's my place. I'm definitely not doing that. So let's just do the slog. Mm hmm. Yeah. That. All right. Clear out the slog. Yeah, I think this is technically the last quest, but it's kind of like you have to clear out all the settlements. One will do. So if you guys want me to do any side quests, uh, you would have to let me know. Otherwise, series is over. Goodbye Fallout 4 after this video. Oh, I've actually been to the slog. Alright, my charisma sucks, so let's hope I can do this nice and easy. I may have to put on my convincing suit. Ah, uh, yes. Wait. Stop moving. Hey. 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 Something I can do for you? Think you should leave. There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. Leave? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Now I think I'm going to have to ask you to go. Listen, I'm trying to help you. Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go. Now. Yeah, I'm thinking no. Now, if you don't have anything else... You will get it. You stay here another minute. And trust me, you're going to regret it. Huh. Yeah, right. How about you get out of here before I make you? All right. I'm leaving. Know what? I'm leaving. And don't come back. Well, I tried, you guys. Do I have all my stuff on? 
Yes, I do. Failed. That was a failure. Really? So what, I just killed these guys for no reason? Hmm, guess so. Can I... Oh, not that one. Let me see if I can go back here. I knew my uh, convincing wouldn't be very good, but I figured why not. So now we're just going to go down the slaughtering path. And say, uh, I tried to help you guys, but goodbye. All right, that one will work. So to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out or scare them off. Either way. The more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with me. And, but ultimately... Alright, I think I need to go back further. Oh, wait, hold on. Now that I think about it, I can't do that because I uh, spawned in a better weapon for Gage. And, um... Now he won't have it. So I can't do that. All right, so I guess this one time I'll ask him to leave with money. Hey, you. Hey, something I can do for you? Yeah, I think you should leave. There's a gang of raiders. Leave. Well, I'm gonna make this eat caps for this. Uh, yeah, fine. All right. Hey, boss. You want to rest for a minute? This would be a good place to do it. Did I? All right. This will be the only time I do that, mostly because. I don't want to spend caps on this place. Not gonna bother you, all right? All right. I think I have all my stuff on. You got orders? What I is in special? Raider? Flags? Here. Uh. We can have it right over here. All right, that really wasn't too exciting. Land's yours, okay? Why are these guys so far away? A word of advice, hey there. boss. Hmm. You don't want to be on the bad side. But I guess it'll do. Sooner we get some supplies coming in, the better. You can run along now. Go tell them how it went. All right. Yeah, that was uh, pretty boring. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But hopefully next time things get a little more interesting. going around is that some big bad raider boss strolled into the commonwealth and talked a group of settlers right off their land well <laughs> not too shit ash does speak good start <laughs>
I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Why stop at kneecaps? Hmm. Let's use force this time. Kneecaps? Meet bullets. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll make sure everyone knows this is a maiming job. So, which gang you want to back you up? Let us do the operators the this operator. time. I'll send word along. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. Joint called Nordhagen Beach, I think, is close enough to work. Could be a good target, though I'd need to check my notes, of course. So, what's the target? Let us do... County Crossing. Hmm. All right. That one will work. All right, let us go back to the Commonwealth. Now. Hey. Okay, I don't have this place. It's right by the uh, Mechanist Lair, though. So I think I will just do a couple of these. Because I'm not sure how interesting the videos would be if I just keep doing this. And then I did read ahead and basically what happens is whatever gang you uh, least favor is they rebel against you, I believe, and then they attack you and then you have to wipe them out. I believe that's what it was. So if I were to completely like just ignore the disciples, they would turn on me. Which I think they still might, because they have no territory in Nuka World. But yeah, you just kill them and then they're gone. And that's pretty much how the uh, main quest ends. Spoilers. Is Gage falling behind me? Oh, he somehow was ahead of me. Also, let's uh, use Sito's Slugger. That's gotta be it over there. Hey there. Hey boss. Heard there's some settlers in need of a maiming. 
Sounds like fun. You want us to get started? Yeah, begin attack. Let's do this. All right. Oh, I thought it was this place. I guess not. Oh, this place is totally gonna just get wiped out. Oh, it's the Minutemen. Oh, well. I turned my back on those guys already, so whatever. Okay, I guess that guy can't die. Are you using? Oh, you're hey, not even using it. More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. Uh, yeah, I gave him a bunch of rounds. Yeah, use that. You, you're gonna start supplying Nuka World. Understand? All right, all right. We'll send whatever you want. Just leave us alone. All right, that was more interesting than last time, but that really wasn't too exciting. Mostly because uh, none of these places are very well defended. So yeah, this is how it pretty much goes. You get a central settlement, you put the flag down, and then the settlements around it help that one out, and so on and so on. Tear the place apart if we don't get the hell out of there. It's cute, but irritating. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Mm. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up, and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Mayhem and destruction is what I'm thinking, for what it's worth. All right, let's rip them to shreds. I. We'll rip them to shreds personally. Bingo. Only language raiders in the Commonwealth understand. Force. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly. Alright, back to the slog, I guess. Lots of uh, fast traveling. Okay, now let us go back to the slog. Oh great, there is a radiation storm going on. Taking a dip in the pool. Hey. Well, look who finally made it. We spotted a pretty shady group nearby. Could get company any minute, so watch your back. All right, where are they at? They gonna come through the front door? 
I don't see anybody yet coming over the hills. Who's in charge around here? I'll I love it when part. Commonwealth raided. Oh, right over there. It's cute. I want the head or whoever's running this shit. Oh man, these guys got power armor. You. you the nuka world waste pile and thought you could move your gang into sinners territory. Sinners. You give me one good reason. I shouldn't slice you open and eat your heart right here. Hmm. Oh, please try. With pleasure. <laughs> All right, gang. Rip the shreds. Rippers are just so overpowered. Man, you guys aren't being much help. All alone. Yellow flight helmet. An assault rifle. And then he had something. Combat rifle, I don't care about that. He had like a machine gun or something. I just want to check it out. Cage armor? Gross. It's like an MG. Oh, they're like the same thing. Whatever. Back to Nuka World? Nope. Put that away. There we go. Hmm. I can't really say I find this part that exciting so far. Hmm. Heard some rumbles. This one didn't get you either. Figured hey, I shouldn't be surprised. Just wanted to say, no hard feelings. Those raiders won't be causing us any more problems. Who is trying to talk to me? Harvey? Shank. Huh. Heard some rumbles. This one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. Those raiders won't be causing us any more problems. Yeah. That's what I've been hearing. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours... Ain't. And to keep a crew loyal, you need to keep them happy. Now, keeping raiders happy isn't real hard. Just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities. Just like any other settlement. That they've got some things to keep them entertained. And that their food's taken care of. Which, with raiders, well, isn't like dealing with other settlements. Now, if you want me to go into detail on any of that, you just say. Mm. What can you tell me about entertainment for the outpost? Well, it's a damn handy way to keep folks distracted if you're lacking in certain basics. Constructing pick-me-up stations or getting one of your crew working on a booze still will certainly help lift your outpost's <laughs> spirits. And if the place has got a Nuka World transmitter powered up, you can construct amplifiers to help as well. Anything else I can answer for you? Tell me more about providing food for the outpost. So, managing your outpost's food can get a little tricky. No one ever joined a crew to dig in the dirt. So you'll want to make sure you've convinced enough settlements to supply your gang. People at the outpost can farm in a pinch. 
but they sure as hell won't be happy about it. Now, if you're ever wondering if your outpost has enough food, you should take a look in your pit boy. It ought to have I a hate show settlement you building, to be honest. Currently needs, food included. If they're low on grub, it's probably time to get a new settlement supplying you. Or you could always drop some food direct in their workshop if it comes to it. Now, was there something else? Nope. I think I've got everything I, I need to know. I understand. Sure. If you've ever got more questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your arm. No better tool to tell you what your outpost may be hurting for. Now, depending on the state of the place when you hit it, this first outpost might already have some of the bare bones set up. All you've got to do is build up what's missing. If you want to run some jobs to convince more settlements to start sending supplies, well, you know how this works. You just come talk to me. And I was thinking, with the outpost coming as far as it has, might be time I set up shop there. Save you a trip any time you want to run a job. You just let me know if that's something that it interests you. Be good to make some trouble in the Commonwealth again. So, there anything I can do? Mm, let's send him to... I want you to head to an outpost. An outpost. Sure thing, boss. Where am I going? Well, we only have the one, so... Suppose I better get a move on then. See you there, boss. So yeah, this is basically the main premise of the last part of Nuka World is literally to just do this and it's basically just you getting more territory and like I said earlier, if you were to say not favor somebody like the disciples, they turn against you and then you just have to eradicate them. And that's basically it. I mean, I don't think I really need to show you anymore because what I did in this episode is basically just what you do. So guys, uh, unless you have like any interesting side quests you want me to do, I think this is it for uh, Nuke World and for Fallout 4. Oh no, excuse me, not yet because I need to go get bobbleheads. So there will be one more episode after this so guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe because it will help on my channel and i will appreciate it like always and then i'll see you guys next time I'm on, baby.